From Arlington, Texas, welcome to Friday Night Baseball. And man, this should be fun. A rematch of that epic ALCS last year, the Houston Astros, the Texas Rangers. The Astros and the Rangers, they'll play seven times in the next 10 games. Game one, we got tonight. On Cody Bradford to fill one of those spots in the starting rotation. Yeah, well, the young, talented left-hander making his 10th start, coming off the victory against the Chicago Cubs, where he went five innings and just gave up two runs and struck out six. Jose Altuve, Jordan Alvarez, and Kyle Tucker. We are underway in Arlington. Up the middle in the center field, and Altuve is aboard, and the Astros have a start to their first inning. Alvarez smokes that one to left. Carter is there and he makes the catch. Here's Tucker now. Tucker, center field, Tavares after it. At the warning track makes the catch. Another loud out. Here's Bregman now. Hard on the ground to short. Seeger whips it to City. And Cody Bradford is through the first. Couple loud outs. We're underway, and the Rangers get their first swings when we get back. Through 20 or more pitches in three of his four innings, which is a big reason why Brown was only able to go four innings. He'll face Marcus Simeon. Simeon's been on base in all six of his games, and he pulls that ball in the hole. Diving stop there. Pena has it rolled away, and that's seven straight for Simeon in reaching base. And this one's drilled. Right center field after it is Myers. Makes a dive, makes the catch. And back to first is Simeon. He can go get it out in center field. This guy spent 44 games in the minors. And now he finds himself hitting third for the defending World Series champions. Wyatt Langford. Fastball's up. Patient at bat. Here comes Garcia. First and second in the air. Tucker. Roof open tonight. Tucker makes the catch, and that's a big out to get for Hunter Brown. Evan Carter has yet to get a hit this year. He has started his season 0 for 15, and it's up and in. And the inning gets longer for Brown. One of the hotter hitters now for the Rangers, and that's Jared Walsh, who's really hot. Let's see what he gets 2 2. Got him. Hunter Brown. It took a while, but Brown gets out of the inning. Rangers leave him loaded. Makes the good toss across to get Heim for out number one. And that will bring up Josh Smith. Or line it into left field for a hit. McCormick cuts it off in the gap. Big turn. And he'll settle for a single. See me in a, a sharp infield single to the left side back in the first. That one's in the right field. Two hits for Simeon. Smith will hold at second. So two men on with two out for Corey Seeger. Smoked. Left center. That's a hit in the gap. Smith will score. Simeon to third. He's held there. Seeger slides into second with an RBI double, and the Rangers lead it one to nothing. Now the rookie, Langford walked back in the first. <laughs> Up the middle, Ooh. Altuve dives, safe at first, a run across, and it's 2 0. And for a big, thick kid, Langford can really run. Garcia hit two home runs in that game seven of the ALCS. 45 pitches in less than two innings for Hunter Brown. Garcia, right center, Myers, back, wall, gone! He's done it again. Five straight, he's homered against the Astros. Going back to the last four of the ALCS and the big bat of Adolis Garcia. He just won't leave the Astros alone. A three-run shot. And the Rangers lead it 5 0. So 2 08 here in the last half of the third. Rangers up 5 0. Here comes uh, Laoti. Tavares down the right field line. That's a fair ball, and he can run. Into the corner is Tucker. Tavares to second. Up with the ball is Tucker. Tavares on his way to third. And a two out triple. Man, I don't think he needed that slide at the end. He was rocking and rolling. I mean, he was already around second by the time Tucker came up with that baseball. So the bases are loaded now with two men out for Wyatt Langford. Ground ball out to short. Pena gets the out at second and Hunter Brown escapes the third without any further damage. Two outs. Five nothing Rangers lead. Belak making his second appearance of the year. And now here is Jared Walsh who has struck out and flied out. And there's a swing and a line drive base hit to right. Bullet off the bat of Jared Walsh. We are in the fourth inning and the only Ranger who doesn't have a hit is coming to the plate right now in Jonah Heim. Uh-oh. That is scorched to right. 
Tucker over to get it. Walsh to third. And now every Ranger has a hit. Runners on the corners. The Rangers threatening again. And again doing damage with two outs. Here's Josh Smith, the third baseman. That's hit hard, and it's fair, and it's down the line. Walsh will score. Time is trucking to third. They'll hold him there. And a double for Smith. And the Rangers are back on the board. Once again, all of this with two outs. Six-nothing lead for Texas. Diaz, a strikeout victim on a 2-2 changeup his first time up. That's a long way to go for Walsh. Bradford trying to get over. Not a lot of action on the bases here with Bradford, who's been really clean in this game. He gave up a single to Altuve in the first, and that's the first base runner since. Chaz McCormick, who's flied to center. Broken bat, look out, pop up behind the mound, and Bradford makes the catch. Bradford has the sign from Heim. He has set at the belt. He lets it fly, and he struck him out looking with a slider. He goes down on strikes, and that is the fourth punch out for Cody Bradford. And you got the the Astros with like four starters on the DL. Cody Bradford, a runner reaches, no problem. He's cruising. Belak deals 3-1, and Marcus takes ball four. He's been on base four times, two singles, two walks. Here's Adolis Garcia, three-run homer in the second. He is one for three tonight. Garcia in the center field. He'll drive in another. Simeon will cross. Garcia's got four RBIs. Adolis Garcia has driven in four tonight as an RBI single to make it 7-0 Rangers. Ten of the Rangers' 12 hits have come with two out. So it's a double, a walk, nobody out for Leody Tavares. This pitch is popped up. Shallow center field going out. Pena coming in. Myers. Myers dives for it, and he comes up with the catch. And Myers is able to make a diving catch. He just did get to that ball, diving in toward the diamond. So Heim still at second. Smith still at first. And it's back to the top of the order. And Marcus Simeon, he's come up four times, reached all four times. That's a drive. Left field deep. McCormick back at the wall. Gone! Have a night, Marcus Simeon. It is his first home run of 2024. The three-run blast puts Texas on top, 10 to nothing. Not only win that ball game, but allow this young man to get a no-hitter and be part of history. Pena knocks that one into center field. And uh, the crowd is cheering rightfully so for the performance that Cody Bradford did. It really set the tone for this big matchup. So outstanding by the young lefty. Right back at it. Yeri Rodriguez delivers. First pitch swinging. Jake Myers to right field. And it's deep. And it is gone. And just like that, the Astros are on the board. Jake Myers out of the nine spot. And now here's a look at, at Foscu. 14th overall pick in the 2020 draft. First round out of Mississippi State. And first pitch swing in the air. Dubon is there and makes the catch. Quick inning here for Miguel Diaz. Yiner Diaz came in here red hot. He's gone 0 for 3 tonight. Struck out, reached on an error by Walsh, flied out to right. A swing and a high pop to short center. This should end it. Backing out is Foscu. He makes the grab. 10 to the final here. Wanted and needed to start this series and start this run of seven games against the Astros in 10 games.